Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to another video by moi, Mark My Word. First of all, introduction. Hi, introduction. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel so far. Everyone that supported me, liked, shared my videos. So yeah, let's get into this one. So growing up, I'd always done pretty well in school. Um, I'm not saying I was a super genius, but I wasn't exactly failing either. So I have to give credit to my parents for that one. I remember coming home from school, if my teacher weren't giving me homework, best believe my parents were I. But that's not the only thing I spent my evenings doing. Another thing that was a big part of my childhood was music. I remember, I think my earliest memory of music is at like three years old. I didn't have any instruments at three years old. All you have is books, what else do you need? So um, I just remember, I, used to, I just used to lay out those books and I uh, just take a couple of pens and be drumming along to whatever tapes I had in my in my CD player. So I got to 16 now and drumming was a big part of who I am at that point. So I, I was thinking about applying to Brit school. I wasn't really sure I knew what I was doing. Also my Brit application happened to disappear the day I was meant to hand it in, but we're not getting into conspiracy theories right now. I also heard a lot of other people echo um, their feelings towards like sport or art. It's like if something goes wrong, if you get an injury or if you don't make it, then that's it, you don't have a backup. See, I decided I just went ahead and did my A-levels. Um, I ended up with uh, maths, further maths and physics. I know, man, it's tough. I got AAB in that. So with that, another crossroad, it's 18 years old. Do I go uni? Do I become a musician? I didn't really have a plan for music, if I'm being honest. You know, I knew I loved playing drums, but I was like, yeah, I, just, I can I can still do it. I can do it whilst at uni. If anything, I'll just drop out. Shut I'll just drop out if I need to. So that was my attitude. So I ended up going to Sheffield Uni. Boop, 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 boop. Sheffield, Sheffield. And I ended up picking aerospace engineering. Even masters at that. I know what a backup to pick. I don't know what convinced me to do that. And let's not forget at all. For most people, uni is the, it's the first real chance to get out of the house, you know, to be independent. And I, I can't, that plays a part. It plays a part. Sorry, mum and dad. I love you guys. But, you know, I just wanted to leave. But... So, yeah, so whilst I was at. <coughs> <coughs> My goodness. <coughs> Hold on, I need to go get a drink. Guys. If you don't know about salsa Perilla drinks yet, get to know these drinks bad. <clears throat> I completely forgot where I was. Um, let's just hope I managed to splice this together at the end. So I went to uni now. Now I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I didn't really want to be there. I was I was happy there. I remember I started playing with a jazz band up there. Um, I got involved with ACS. I started making these plans for myself. I told myself, all right. It was, I was coming to a crossroad again because this was in fourth year and I was like all right so do I enter the job market or do I actually go to music and I was and I started to tell myself uh, you know what let me become chartered let me go do four or five years on a graduate program get my chartership then you know it's undisputed I can go do music and I won't have any issues if I need to have a backup but I think at this point I said to myself like everything I did during uni like with banking with engineering everything up until this point was making my backup so secure I wasn't even focusing on my main so that's when I just flipped my mindset so that's when I was like you know what that's it I'm not applying to any aerospace jobs I'm not doing anything I'm gonna I'm gonna come out of uni I'm gonna be a musician wait right. wait I'm gonna be a musician Shy. I'm gonna be a musician what's the kind of if you do that one oh my god but why am I telling you all this so first thing I want you to take from this video is number one you don't have to follow the crowd I know results days on Thursday is coming up. I'm not trying to confuse any of you people that have your mind set on uni or otherwise. You go do your thing, you go be great. Uni is a lot of fun. Second thing I'd like you to take from this is you are greater than your degree. Your degree doesn't define you. You define what you study and you define what your education is. That's something else I learned at uni. Number three, academic education is not complete education. I could get into Eurocentrism and all that aspect, but just take it. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Just take in your academic as it is. It's not holistic. You're not getting education from traveling. You're not getting education from uh, performing arts. You're not getting education from reading. Depends on your degree. But your education is not complete. So don't feel like because you're at uni, that's it. That's all you have to study. You need to expand your mind, expand your horizons. I would encourage all of you 
I speak to many people and always like I used to play drums, or I used to dance, I used to act, I used to draw. Change that. Don't used to do anything. If you haven't learned an instrument or you haven't picked up an artistic outlet, do it. For your homework, go and look at the stats for how many Nobel Prize laureates were musicians and you'll be surprised to see that there is actually a link between music and your intelligence. And I'm not saying you have to do music, but you need to have a creative outlet. You need to have something vocational because otherwise your education isn't complete. And that being said, number four, having a degree doesn't make you any more intelligent than someone who doesn't have a degree. And it doesn't prove that you're more intelligent than them. It means that you're good at one thing. Me having a master's in aerospace engineering tells me I'm good at aerospace. But aerospace is just, in the grand scheme of knowledge, in the whole knowledge of the world, how much is aerospace worth compared to the rest of the world? Someone who didn't go uni, it doesn't mean that they're not more intelligent. So it really shouldn't be surprising to learn that some of the most intelligent people in the world are the people that are in creative industries. So point number five, I just want to say to you guys, don't live for the weekend. <clears throat> Do what you enjoy. Don't let capitalism win. So right now, it's the summer holidays. I graduated from uni. To the outside world, I'm a bum. And I'll, I'll, I won't take that title, but I don't care if that's what people want to think. But I, I have not been happier. I've got loads of time I'm just playing my instruments, playing all that. Good, good music. Oof. All right, enough of that. I've got time to play my instruments. I've got time to read. I did not, I underestimated the importance of reading. Reading is crucial. There's a reason the slave masters didn't let slaves have books or learn literacy, right? And yeah, you, need, you do need money, but all this stuff is important. Do not lose yourself in the quest to chase money or do not be enslaved to think that you have to chase what society is telling you to chase. You can be great on your own. And once you're great on your own, people will want your greatness and they will pay you for your greatness. I think that something that really helped me change my mindset and come to this understanding was the realization that time is not money. Time is time and money is money. Something J. Cole said, and yeah, I'll quote J. Cole because it's great. They say time is money, but really it's not because if you ever go broke, then time is all you got and you can't make that back. So guys, let's ball while we're here. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.